this video as you can see from the title is for my korean drama lovers this is for my korean movie lovers if you're not a korean movie lover i don't know what you're doing here hey guys what's up what's good welcome back to my channel my name is Nairi Chi and this is still the not yet Richie show <laughs> so if this is your first time of coming across my channel please kindly hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell close to you so you'll be getting more of my videos if this is not your first time you're welcome back so yeah no distractions please this video as you can see from the title is for my korean drama lovers this is for my korean movie lovers if you're not a korean movie lover i don't know what you're doing here yes i said it this is for my korean lovers like me like, i can't count how many korean movies i've i've seen recently i'm seeing nokdu you know quickly i would be showing you guys the 10 korean movies the 10 kd series the 10 most important kd series on netflix right now for you to watch i really don't care if they're like 16 series or 16 episodes or 24 they are always very long usually very long no lies at all and if you don't have data that is where the problem is going to come from but me even though I don't have data, I'm gonna go to the extreme mile just to know what happened at the end. So yeah, I'm a Korean movie lover and I love watching Korean movies because the guys are literally so cute. Yeah, literally so cute. Don't worry, it's not about Lee Min here right now. I know you all want, I don't know many people. Yeah, his name is Lee Min Hoo. But what I know him as is Gujun Pil. I mean, ever since I finished watching City Hunter, I think that's City Hunter or Boys Over Flowers. That was his name in any of those two. That's basically his name for me, like Gujun Pil. So yeah, so much ado. Let's get right into this video, okay? I would be inserting some pictures so that you can know the actors and the actresses in there, you know? I'm gonna be inserting some pictures because I feel like some of you wouldn't know the name because I really don't know their names, I just know their faces. And lately there has been like two important or well-known characters on Korean dramas recently. Gujun Pil, yeah, Lee Min Hu. There's also Kim Joo-in. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. The lady that acted uh, the king, the eternal monarch. Yeah, that face and Gujun Pil, they've been so popular in most of the Korean dramas. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the best 10. So number one here is Crash Landing on You. Oh, I love that movie. Like, I loved it so much. I loved the storyline. Um, Crash Landing on You. I'm not going to call their actors and actress because I really don't know their names. But it was this cute guy and this cute lady, obviously. So the lady is uh, a boss in her own country. I think the South Korean and the North Korean. I don't know why those two don't really get along well. The South Korean and the, long, the North Korean. Apparently, this girl landed from wherever she is to another place where she was skydiving and when she landed over here there's this other cute guy this cute ami guy at the other end waiting for her to land <laughs> and what i like about their movies is like you can never get tired of watching them as i said even though they are like 16 or 24 episodes i watch from beginning to end so yeah crash landing on you it's pretty 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 interesting i loved every bit of it i loved how they fell in love and i feel like korean movies are more of like hopeless romantics like they love to love they love love a lot and i love that about them the second one i have here is vagabond if you haven't watched the vagabond damn the movie it top notch i love vagabond a lot vagabond was where a nephew of this guy probably there was a plane crash where the nephew was involved in the plane crash and yeah you know how this korean how their power struggle is a plane crashed and the nephew of this dude was among and wasn't a natural death you know it wasn't a natural plane crash they probably pioneered it those in power pioneered it and yeah the guy went to every land to find out who was behind the plane crash and all of that so yeah vagabond is really interesting if you're not into the whole if you're not into the whole, um whole romance and everything this is for you it's more of action yeah so it's super interesting the next one i have here is the king Ooh, 
forget about the fact that Lee Min Hu was the star actor, forget about that fact, which we know that of course if he is in this movie, we're definitely gonna see it. But then again, the movie is super interesting. I like the, the plot of the movie, I liked how the movie unfolded. I like the fact that there was this life and the other life. I like the fact that like there were two people you know i love twins a lot i just love twins just look alike if you if you're a twin and you have the same face it kind of gives me this like i don't know what it does to my body so that movie was kind of like a twin like movie they were not twins but they kind of had like identif identical faces in twos and all of that so i liked they like just liked the movie although towards the end it was a bit confusing before yeah i still understood the movie and it was really really interesting next movie i have here goblin ah i really don't know which one to tell you guys it's my favorite though i'm not gonna say no favorite but goblin is interesting jeez goblin it's super 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 nice i like the girl the lead actress there kim guin no, no, no. I liked the lead actress in Goblin. Goblin is super interesting. It's probably because they were also cute guys in here, you know. I'm not going to go into every detail to explain everything that happened because it's going to be like a spoiler alert. But trust me when I tell you that these movies are super interesting and you need to see them, okay? And when you're done seeing them, you come and thank me later. Uh, the next one I have is Nice Guy. Nice Guy is interesting, but I just... There are some movies you watch, you're angry watching them. You'll be like, why is this guy so, so, so nice? Like, don't you know what to do? It was annoying to watch, trust me, but it's interesting. The guy was just too nice, too nice that he had to uh, own up a murder. He had to own up a murder that he didn't commit because he was in love with this girl and this girl committed this murder and he had to own up for the girl. He was the one that went to prison for the girl and all of that only for him to come out and the girl wasn't appreciating only for him to come out and the girl didn't even send him that kind of thing he was just too extremely nice that guy is interesting but it was annoying the next movie here is inheritors you guys need to see inheritors gojun p was here it's, it's interesting the struggle for power and all of that they love that a lot in Korea and struggle for power who it's more richer the high class and the low class Just you need to watch inheritors the other one i have here is cinderella and the four nights trust me it was no play it's not like the children cinderella no 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 trust me the lead actress and actors they are mesmerizing to watch and they are super hot shy boss i just finished watching shy boss a few weeks ago interesting you could imagine having a boss that is shy he doesn't even come out in public he doesn't give speeches you don't even know what he looks like he's just gonna be in his room in his office in his study giving orders and all i like shy boss the other one i have here is secret romance you know i give you guys the interesting netflix movies i give you guys interesting hot netflix movies to watch so secret romance it's a must watch the last one on my list the last one on my list here is the secret life of my secretary where the boss was blind and the secretary had to you know help the boss trust me the movie is super interesting as i said i'm not going to dive right and give you guys all the gist because it's going to be like a spoiler alert but yeah the movie is top notch so yeah that is basically 10 of the kd series i would want you guys to see because they're interesting really interesting and uh and let me add an extra one nook do nook I'm recently seeing Nogdu. I'm not gonna say Nogdu is a must watch because I'm just seeing it right now. I'm actually at episode 5. Yeah, I think it has like 20 something or 16. So I'm not gonna tell you guys to watch what I haven't completed yet. Probably when I'm done watching this one, I could bring out the second edition of this um, video. But yeah, if you're done watching this 10, trust me, this 10 are super interesting. No jokes because I've seen all of them. So yeah, I can only tell you, I can only tell you guys what I've watched. So if you're done watching this 10 and you need an extra one, but before that, I'm still going to update you guys. But if I don't update you guys, you can include Nogdu in your list. Nogdu is super interesting. So yeah, that is basically all the 10 KD series that you should watch on Netflix because they are interesting and um yeah we've come to the end of this video i hope you guys like it and as i said earlier if this is your first time of coming across my channel please kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell 
so that you'll be getting more of my videos till i come your way next time